Jedino što je jeftino i može se kupiti u velikim količinama za mali novac je Coca-Cola. Ever since the conception of Serbia as a nation, it has always had a reputation amongst other Europeans. Be it the defender of Europe against the Ottomans, the gunpowder barrel, or simply the place where all war criminals come from. And as such, it is only fitting that Serbia has spawned some pretty amazing people. Be it Stefan Dusan, Saint Sava, Mihailo Pupin, Nikola Tesla. Yes, I said Nikola Tesla. Don't even come at me, Croats. He was in, born in Croatia. Shut the f*** up. But today, we're not gonna talk about any of those great people, but rather someone equally as bombastic and out there. Miraljub Petrovic. For those of you unfamiliar with the man in question, Miraljub Petrovic is a famous Serbian public speaker known mostly for his appearances in the YouTube talk show known as Balkan Info. The man was born in 1965 and has a bachelor degree in geology. And that's all that is normal about him. Miraljub Petrovic's career started off after graduating from the Belgrade Faculty of Geology. Upon graduation in the year 2000, Petrovic caught the attention of the public eye when he did a series of interviews on the previously mentioned channel Balkan Info, which is an independent news agency known for interviewing generally right-wing individuals. He did a couple of interviews in 2016, which would soon bring him fame due to one line. Where Miralju Petrovic advocated for the reinstallment of medieval Serbian law, known as Dusan's Law, and advocated for the abolishment of police and the people taking control of their communities by enacting corporal punishment themselves. Nećeš da budeš princ i princeza. Idi brate u Belgiju, u Holandiju, pa tamo imaš festival Exit. Ono, celu noć, bange, bange, razumeš, rock and roll. Naturally, this is sending Miraljub into a meme status and video clips from his interview started circulating the internet faster than HIV in an underdeveloped African country. Pa davo drogu, bato, pa znaš ti ko je kazna za prodaju drogi? Pa nje, smrtna kazna, kraj priče. Nije bi dodirno, bre, drveto, bre. Ima... Ima 50 bolesti bre u njoj, kontejner, virusa i bakterije. Ne dođe dete i kaže, e tata dobio sam peticu, ne znam, iz matematike. Ne interesuje. With people left and right memeing him and throwing his famous catchphrase, pod mač bato. With this newly found meme, many started looking deeper for more meme-worthy material. And as they would dig, they would find. Ne razumiš ko u Srbiji odmah te maltretira, šta si radio? Policija kulturna, brat. It turned out that Petrovic had many questionable ideas, which many would coin as sexist, chauvinistic and even homophobic. But if you didn't live in a western country, most of these views weren't anything new. In fact, they were the status quo in a decent part of Serbia and in a good portion of the world. However, there were a couple of beliefs in his bundle of ideology that did make him stand out from the conservative crowd and obtain him the label of extremist. And conspiracy theorist, those being that he believed in young earth creationism and that he was also an Adventist, which is a big no-no in an Eastern Orthodox environment. However, the thing that got him the most scrutiny, that he was as well a vegetarian. <laughs> Most of these ideas Petrovic claimed that he has gotten by the end of his college years, after the war in Yugoslavia concluded and everyone had a healthy dose of ethnic cleansing, Miraljub Petrovic got recruited by a group of Adventists and got given a platform on TV to speak about these newfound beliefs on the television program known as Narubu Znanosti aka on the edge of science. While Petrovic did his public speaking, he still wanted to further his education. He tried enrolling for a PhD at the Belgrade Faculty of Geology, however he was denied as many of the staff there did not like his appearance on TV and wished not to associate the faculty with him, as they found it to be quite contradictory, having a man believe in creationism and that the earth was only 6000 years old while studying rocks that are millions of years old. Some things just didn't mesh together. 
So Mr. Petrovic decided to go to Romania and pursue his career in Iași. There he got a PhD in philosophy and specialized in the subject of connecting science and religion. Then in 2010 he opened up clinics for treating homosexuality. And we all know what that means. Another institution Miralyub opened up was the Center of Natural Studies, which was a non-profit organization with the goal of scientifically proving the biblical genesis as well as showcasing principles of a healthy life. The great thing about his career is that he runs it as a college, where he marketed it as a place where people could graduate with degrees accepted all over the world. However, when one would click on the accreditation tab on his site for the Central of Natural Studies, it would be black. <laughs> you can still earn a bachelor of the name Doctor of Natural Studies and even a master's and PhD with the same name. Later on, Petrovic also got this associated with his Adventist roots and started presenting himself as an Orthodox Christian. However, he would often find ridicule from Orthodox Christians that knew their branch truly. For example, Petrovic would hold the belief that the Sabbath was actually on Saturday and not on Sunday and he would also be for circumcision. And he doesn't celebrate a name day, which is a big deal in the Serbian branch of Eastern Orthodoxy. Another wilder belief of his is that Serbs aren't actually Slavs, but rather one of the lost tribes of Israel and the descendants of Sem. And there was no Slavic migration to the Balkans, which really is just a... Uh, yeah. The term Slovenia is the first time in the 6th century, and the term Serbian is the first time in the before, in the antic era. Another incident that brought Petrovic fame, this time outside of the hellhole that is the Balkans, was when he threatened to blow up the Dutch dikes. <laughs> God fuck. <laughs> In 2012, the legend visited the Netherlands and created a video where one could see the Dutch dikes and proclaim that he has come to the knowledge that several Serbian intellectuals are plotting to blow up the dikes unless the Dutch government does not immediately release Ratko Mladic, Vojislav Šešelj and Radovan Karadžić from the Hague's Tribunal of War Crimes. In the video, he also introduced his uncle as an expert on dams. Naturally, the Dutch police and the intelligence service took those claims seriously and Petrovic got arrested in Serbia upon the Serbian government granting a warrant for his arrest. But in the end, he was only under arrest for 48 hours, so everything ended up fine. Anyway, some more of Miralyub theories are lightning round this time. Uh, Easter Island is a triangular and the triangle is an occult symbol. Also, the Moai are symbols of demon worship. Love is a demonic obsession. Girls should avoid boys and vice versa until marriage and commit themselves to more spiritual values. Demons drew the Nazca lines. Novak Djokovic owes his success to demons. Also, Djokovic deserves death by sword for premarital sex. Demons gave Serbia a relative underdog win over Germany on World Cup 2010 in order to fool and destroy Serbs. Heavy metal music is evil even if it glorifies God. Finnish heavy metal slash hard rock band Lordi won the Eurovision Song Contest because their song offends the creator. Maria Sharifovic is a covert lesbian and her victory at the Serbia debut appearance on the Eurovision Song Contest is due to a conspiracy of gay lobbyists in order to contaminate healthy tissue in Serbia. Osama bin Laden was in fact a Jesuit and a part of a plan for American Catholic domination in the world. And that's about it. Miralyub also published several publications based on his beliefs and natural studies. But that would be more or less everything about Dr. Mirelyu Petrovic. Let me know what you think. Would you join the Center of Natural Studies? Have you already? Do you believe corporal punishment should be brought back? Let me know in the comment section down below. And remember to subscribe for more videos about weird Europe. My name is Nick and you watched Let Me Go Around to Clean Europe.